Hello everybody, Interim Terry back again with another video and today's video guys is gonna, it's not gonna be super long because uh, like you're seeing I am at work, war else somebody commented in my latest video he said you're working too much yes I know that my friend what can I do I have a lot of expenses I have family, kids, parents etc 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 to take care about so uh, I have to work, what can I say, this is my life, but I try to do videos when I have time and I try to do a lot of videos because uh, tennis is my passion, that, that is one of the things in life that I really really love and when I have a break like I have today now at work, I will deliver a video. Uh, today's video guys is gonna be about uh, this new decade. This new decade will be a blockbuster, guys. One of the uh, subscribers or viewers commented in my last video as well and said, Inter, don't forget, this new decade will be a blockbuster. The and general, the most uh, debatable question will be answered. We will have the answer in this new decade who will be the goat the greatest tennis player of all time Federer Nadal or Djokovic because we all know my friends that these three players are the three players that has taken the tennis the sport to a totally different kind of a level first it's Federer started in the in the mid mid tw uh, tw 20s in 2003 when he won uh, his first Grand Slam title and then started to, to dominate the sport and won, I believe, Federer won 12 Grand Slam titles between 2003 to 2007 and then Rafa come along and stopped him, defeated him in Wimbledon, Australia Open and a, and a lot of, lot of French Open finals and some semi-finals as well and then, and then we thought that Tennis cannot be played better than Federer is playing and then Nadal is playing. And then the, a dude from Serbia, whose name is, like we all know, Novak Djokovic, came along and stopped both of them. Who, who in the world could imagine back in 2007, when I, first time, when I for the first time saw Novak Djokovic as a skinny 19-year-old play against Roger Federer in that 2007 fourth round, when Ro Roger just dismantled and just took away Novak in straight sets. Uh, I thought with myself, this guy, he looks pretty, he looks good. He looks, he's striking the ball pretty clean. But I could never believe back then, 13 years ago, that Novak Djokovic will be the, the successful. I've talked about this before. Never in my mind could I imagine that, uh, uh, and that he will be the the latest decade that just ended a couple of days ago. He will be the best player in that decade with 15 Grand Slam titles, like Novak won in the la last decade that ended. Uh, so, and we will finally, we will finally, guys, in this decade, this will be decided in this new decade. Who will be the GOAT? Federer, Nadal or Djokovic? I have my... I have, a, I have an opinion about that. I've done a video about this six months ago. Uh, who I believe will end with most slams when, the, when it's all said and done. When these three have retired, I think it will be Nadal. That is my feeling. I just think that it will be him who will be that player. If he can stay injury-free for three, two to three, four more, two to three more years. If he can stay injury-free and if he can play at least all the slams, at least three or four slams and not miss too many slams in each, in each season, then I think he will end as the goat in the end. That is my feeling. But <laughs> you can never be sure. This is a sport. Uh, so this new decade will be a blockbuster, my tennis fans all around the world. Not only because uh, all this bunch of new gen players, Medvedev, Tsitsipas, uh, 
team team is old gen but he's a very very good old gen uh, who has very very high high potential and I think team will win a Grand Slam title in this new decade. I don't think the team will end his career without winning a Grand Slam title. Will he do it this year? Maybe. Uh, uh, if he does it, uh, it is more likely that he does it in US Open, not in Australia, not in Wimbledon, not uh, in US Open or in French. But French, he has a very big obstacle ahead of him to climb that big Mount Everest mountain. And we all know who that is. It is Rafael Nadal, of course. So... Team's chances to win his first ever Grand Slam title, it is in French Open or in US Open. Not in Australia, not in Wimbledon. Too fast for him. He, even though he, is, he has improved his game in fast courts, but he is better player on slow courts still. And so we have this new decade. So, much, so many things is happening with, the, with this big three who will end as the GOAT. With this bunch of new Jenners, Team, Medvedev, Tsitsipas... Uh, Felix Aliasime, Denis Shapovalov, Yannick Sinner. How will who, how will these new genres uh, play? How many Grand Slams uh, title they will win? Who will win most Grand Slam titles of these new gens? I said it on my vi uh, late, late, latest video. I, s I think that City Pass will end as this new de decade best player. But it will be very, very interesting to see this new decade. I'm not saying that the old decade was a boring one. Absolutely not. Like I said, Federer took the sport to another level. Then came Nadal and then came Djokovic. <laughs> Who could imagine Djokovic to take down one of two greatest tennis players, two, two greatest tennis players of all time, Federer and Nadal? Who could imagine that? I couldn't. And I don't think many of you could do that either. When I saw Federer and when I saw Nadal for the first time, I just, I, my tennis brain, my tennis eyes could immediately see that th these are two superstars. Immediately, immediately, for the first time I saw Nadal in 2005, uh, Miami against Federer in that final, and I could immediately see that this is a multiple Grand Slam winner. Uh, and even Federer, when I saw him for the first time against Pistol Pete back in 2001 in Wimbledon, when he defeated Pistol Pete in that five-set battle, I could immediately see this is a Grand Slam winner and a multiple one. But when I saw Djokovic for the first time in that 2007 fourth round against uh, Roger Federer in that Industrial Open, I couldn't immediately see that this is a multiple Grand Slam winner. I could see that this, he, he is a, mo a Grand Slam winner. I could see that he will win a Grand Slam title uh, sooner or later, and which he did one year later in Industrial Open 2008. But, he, but Novak to be this successful... No, I could never imagine that. Never in my mind. Absolutely not. And the same thing is with these new gents. You can never know what, how, how, will, how they will de develop the, themselves, how will they will progress in the sport, how, if they will stay healthy. You, ne you never know what can happen. Uh, but I, I have big expectation on Stefano Tsitsipas. I've, I've told that before. Uh, so, uh, it, this new decade will be a blockbuster, my tennis fans all around the world. And I have a feeling that Nadal will end on top if he stays healthy. Just look at Nadal, man. He's so brutally consistent. What makes Nadal so damn consistent? So, so damn dangerous. He is consistency level. He is the consistency king. Look at his matches this year. He has only lost seven matches, my friends, all around the world. Last Year, I mean 2019 only seven matches and he won I believe 50 uh 58 I believe 58 if I'm not mistaken I he won 58 matches last year and lost only seven and who who won who was he losing to mostly to his chief rivals Djokovic and Federer and uh, some matches against uh, one match against Tsitsipas uh, uh one of uh, one match against Tsitsipas yes and Tsitsipas is <laughs> we all know a very, very good tennis player. Um, uh, one match against Fognini, one match against uh, uh, Team, yes, on clay. Uh, so, uh, uh, he has only lost to very, very good players, uh, Rafael Nadal in 2019. He has really taken care of business against mostly of the players on the tour. One match against Zverev, he lost against Nadal also uh, in, in the last tournament of the year in the, the Nitro Tour Finals. So, 
uh, one uh, one match against the Nikugos, yes, as well. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned all of the losses that Rafa has lost in 2019. Maybe I've forgotten someone. Uh, look at the next gen as what Rafa is doing. He's taking really good care of them, even though the Stefanos is coming closer and closer to him and has, has defeated him once in Madrid uh, in, on clay. But Medvedev has never defeated Nadal. Uh, Zverev defeated him once in that last tournament in Nitu at the Petro Finals. But what I want to say is that Nadal is so consistent that he's taking really good care of business against everyone. He he lost only seven matches and 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 won fifty seven matches. Medvedev is the only player that has won more matches than Nadal. Medvedev won fifty eight matches. Medvedev won most matches on the tour. Uh, Djokovic won. Uh, Medvedev I, think, Medvedev, I think, won 59 matches, and Nadal 58. Djokovic, I believe, won 57. But Djokovic lost more matches than Nadal. Lost more matches. Djokovic won 11 matches. Lost 11 matches. Uh, so, it will be a blockbuster uh, new decade, my friends. I'm really looking forward to this, to see who will end as the GOAT, who will be the best next-gen player, who will win most lamps of the next-gens. Uh... And that's it guys, uh, I have to wrap this video out, and before I wrap this video out, I have to thank a very, very special person. I I, did, I wanted to thank him before, but I have forgotten, but now I will not forget, and it is my beloved friend Goldwald. Thank you very much for your latest gift. Man, you have a big heart, your heart is a big like a lion. I love people with big hearts because I am myself one of them. I love human beings. I am doing this vi these videos because I love tennis, not for fame, not for money, not for uh, subscribers really. I, I have never said subscribe to my channel, but, I will, but I, I'm happy when people subscribe, I will not lie. But I do this for big passion and you have you sent me the second gift. You, did it, you sent me six months ago the first one, now you sent it the second one. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You should be proud of yourself. The fa your family should be proud of you. I, I really, really will never forget what you are doing. Even though that you know you don't need to do this, but you are doing it with with your own wish, with your own love. And I will never forget that, my beloved friend. I will. I will really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I I love big heart people because I am one of my. I am myself one of them. So. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, take care and bye bye.